there's so many churches, Christians, pastors around the world who have connected to the land of Israel and all God's doing right now. But we wanted to find 30 emerging leaders in the American church. And they're here uh, seeing firsthand what's happening in the, in the spiritual climate, the political climate, finding out what the reality is of what's happening here in the country. I have said many times that the overwhelming miracle of Christian Jewish brotherhood in the wake of the creation of the State of Israel is something that is under-recognized and under-appreciated, particularly evangelicals whose love for Israel is breathtaking and is illuminating, and we see the prophecies of the Bible come true. Current day Israel is fulfilling so much prophecy. So I'm not just uh, gleaning from 2000 years ago, I'm gleaning with Israel on what's happening in 2017, in 2018, in 2019. It really hit my heart how God fulfills His promises. When I'm walking in this land, I'm walking in a, in a miracle. As we've sat with government officials, as we've sat and talked with different people here, I feel like the culture and the, and the uh, love that I have for Israel goes beyond a mere prayer of praying for the peace of Jerusalem. I think the amazing thing has been to see, quite honestly, how the media, the mainstream media, is telling one story. But when you are here on the ground, uh, the reality is very, very different. Many probably like myself, um, so much information we just didn't know, didn't have. Um, and not having information um, sometimes can lead to ignorance about situations. And when you see it in person, it, um, it, it's challenging yeah. to, to maybe some of the narrative that we've heard throughout our lifetime. Yeah. And so that becomes all the more important for millennials who are so motivated by social justice to understand uh, the truth of the narrative of what's happening here. I'm, I'm not sure I could effectively take a stand with Israel without hearing their narrative, seeing their side of things, understanding the cause that's going on here. Taking the journey really of the Jewish people and being able to walk that with them and then being able to now say, I stand with Israel. It's really about believing for peace for this whole region. And peace is only going to come when truth prevails. Uh, if we have a false narrative, it's not going to lead to a real peace. World politics isn't going to be decided by the UN or the UN Security Council. It's going to be decided by reality and by facts and by people and Jews and Christians loving Israel. Hearing the, the information and the facts that are being taught and preached, it, it really tugs on the heart, it tugs on our mind, it, it helps us to think, open our minds to what the Bible really is talking about. I think that they get it, and I think that the more that Jews realize that they have brothers and friends in the evangelical world, and particularly with the emerging generation of millennials, I think the greater the chances for the success of the State of Israel and for the coming of the Messiah. I've always known I'm engrafted in the Jewish people, but that was just a nice sentiment. You actually have to do something about it. Wow. I don't think I'll ever preach the same way again. I don't think I'll ever read God's Word the same way again. I really see and understand and have a value now for the Jewish foundation of Christian faith. There's a mark in the sand and in terms of my ministry and my life of a before Israel trip and an after Israel trip. Lovers of Israel, lovers of Jews, we are here to uh, we stretch out our hand of brotherhood to you and we know that you stretch it out to us. We'd like to take that and make it grow and make it bigger and better.